guys, it's Tilly and I'm finally back with another video and hopefully I will kind of get a regular schedule but we've heard that before. I have been fairly busy these last few weeks. Last weekend I did the Supernova convention which was amazing and fun and I was so glad that I got the opportunity to host all the literary panels for it and today's video is basically going to be a wrap up on the convention itself and the books that I got there because I couldn't help myself. I have recently realized that I have this problem that any book event that I go to I am pretty much always inspired by the authors and I always buy their books. And I did exactly that this time around. So for those of you who do not know what Supernova is, it is basically this huge comic convention where you get actors and comic writers and voice actors and authors and people dressed up in cosplay and they all come together in one place and there's special events throughout it all and it's fun and you can buy cool things and it is just amazing. I think what I really love about the convention is that everybody is here for the same reason and it's because they all love the same thing and everyone kind of shares it there and everyone's really happy and it's really amazing and I really loved it. So I was lucky enough to actually get paid to work at this convention and do something that I really enjoy and that I am passionate about and that is talking about books. And boy did I talk about some good books with some amazing authors. So this went for Friday, Saturday and Sunday and on the Friday night we had the Supernova book club for all the super fans and that was fantastic. Um, it was the first time that I met some of the authors and listen to them talk and listen to them talk talk and they were just so wonderful so we had Lynette Noni, Maria Lewis, Alan Baxter, Bevan McGuinness and we also had Raymond E. Feist Hopefully you guys have heard of those authors before, and if not, I'll be talking about a few of their books soon. Um, but they were quite wonderful, I really got to know some of them well, and my heart pretty much belongs to Maria Lewis now. On the second day, we had a Raymond D. Feist panel, which is where we talked about his books, his series, and the audience had some amazing questions. Later in that day, we then had a panel, which was Myths, Legends, and Fairy Tales, and that featured Alan Baxter, Lynette Noni, Bevan McGuinness, and Maria Lewis. And once again, I absolutely love talking about like myths and fairy tales. I think there's so much that you can get out of those and especially when they're invested in stories as well. And on the Sunday which was the final day we had another Raymond E. Fies panel which we talked about his writing a little more. Then we also had writing kick-ass characters which I have to say was my absolute favorite panel of the day. Once again we had the four authors and it was amazing because we got to talk about the fact that not only do these people write characters that can physically kick ass but their actual character building skills created these like phenomenal realistic and diverse characters that you're guaranteed to love. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go through this stack of books by the authors, tell you guys a little bit more about the books and the authors themselves. So first up we have Maria Lewis and like I said my heart now belongs to this woman. She is amazing and kick ass and she is just such a powerful voice and I would love to just listen to her all the time. She always has something amazing to say and she's kind of the person that you want to listen to all the time because she makes some empowering points. So you have Who's Afraid and Who's Afraid 2 and this follows a young girl called Tommy Gray who when her mother passes away she goes back to discover her heritage and is a lot more than just being a normal human. It in fact involves uh, being a werewolf which I think is really interesting and I'm really excited to see how the story is plus the character has bright hair and I'm a big fan of that. Then we also have our newest release which is It Came From The Deep and this is a story of mermen and a bit of romance and a bit of sci-fi and a bit of young adult all mixed together and I'm very excited for that one. Um, she also has a new book coming out soon which will be out on October 31st because Halloween as she says is the best day of the year and I can definitely agree with that. Maria Lewis was just such a babe, like she has this stunning green hair that I am so jealous of and on the Sunday she wore this amazing skeleton outfit that I once again wish that I owned which consisted of a skeleton dress with skeleton earrings and it was just absolutely amazing. She's just a fantastic person all around. The next author is one of the sweetest people that I have ever met and that is Lynette Noni. She's the author of the Medoran Chronicles and her new book Whisper. Um, I think I saw her last year and I got all the Medoran Chronicles signed. So the Medoran Chronicles is a really easy fantasy series with characters that you will love. And Whisper is her latest one which is a bit more um, set for like an older audience I would say but it's still a young adult book. And um, this book so far is the first one in the series and I also got this signed as an ARC which I was super excited about. I really do like Lynette Noni. And and one of my other favourite people from the entire convention is Bevan McGuinness. He is this stabby stabby epic fantasy author and I'm really excited to read his books. It's called The Eleven Kingdoms, um, which is the one that I bought here as well as another series. But this one I think really captured me the most. I'm really intrigued about it. Um, Bevan McGuinness is a local Perth author as well, which is super exciting. He was there with his daughter and I talked to them the most. And they were just such like sweet and amazing people. So this is a book about deadly assassins, desperate journeys and the desire for vengeance. 
sense. And if that doesn't make a good book, I don't know what does. From what I can get from the gist of the panels, Bevan McGuinness writes very gory, bloody, and amazing stories, and that is right up my alleyway. Next up we have Alan Baxter. I actually picked up the majority of his books last year when I heard him speak at Sovenover, but this year I also bought one of his newest books, which is Hidden City, and I am very, very excited because this cover alone looks like it's going to be badass, so I can just guess that the story inside is going to be fantastic too. Every panel that he talked on, um, I took a bit of inspiration from. He's really phenomenal at writing characters. And the last author at the convention was Raymond E. Feiss, who wrote The Magician, but I really want to pick up The Chronicles of Pug, which is the Midkemia book, because it's stunning. This has really amazing artwork inside of it. And I personally haven't read The Magician's book, so I don't know if this makes a whole lot of sense to me. But like I said, I have this tendency to buy books from authors just because I can get them signed, even if I don't read them like this one. I also, as I mentioned that I can't control myself at conventions, got a Porg. It is my new favourite thing in the entire world. Is it adorable? Yes. Is it cute? Yes. Does it have a name? Not yet. If you guys have any name suggestions for my Porg, please let me know because I feel weird just calling it Porgy. The last book that I bought at Supernova was the Ahsoka Star Wars book by E.K. Johnston. I picked this up, I saw the price, and I was like, do I really want to pay that for a book? And then I did that thing, you know, where you take off the dust jacket, and it has pictures on the actual hardcover, and I was like, yeah, I'm buying that book. There was no doubt about it, so I decided that if I was forking out the money, I would also make it my Supernova keepsake book, and this has the signatures from all the authors on the panels, which I really, really am glad that I did, because... It's something that I'm going to remember. It was a really busy and fun weekend, and I made some amazing friends as well. Um, on the Sunday, one of the other hosts that I became friends with, who is Ben, we actually came back to my house and watched all three high school musicals and played a drinking game with it, because that is how you adults. I, I really did enjoy it. Um, the day before Supernova, I actually accidentally dyed my hair a dark purple, which was really fun, um, especially because I was really stressed out, and I was aware that I had to do all my planning for Supernova, and I thought that I would try get myself ready first and so I jumped in the shower and I grabbed a tube which was purple dye at the time without my knowledge and as I ran my hand through my hair noticed it was purple and uh, upon that I decided to quickly wash it out it was probably on my hair for about 30 seconds and uh, in that time it completely dyed my hair a dark purple it stained my entire skin including the st like streaks down my legs as well and uh, my hands were a complete different shade it was it was really great it actually took me about six showers two bottles of shampoo and a bath to soak it off my skin before I realized that I just had to dye my hair entirely purple because it was not coming out. And I think even now there's still like parts of purple dye stuck in my fingernails that I just have to live with. But we survived it, we overcame it and I really am enjoying having colored hair and um, I'm probably going to keep doing it. So that is pretty much the supernova segment of this but I still have two more books that I want to talk to you guys about. These are two of my most anticipated reads of the year. One of them is Reaper at the Gates. This one is by Sabah Tahir. It is the third in the Ember and the Ashes and I love this series. I actually didn't realize this was coming out at all until I was at work looking for another book in the boxes at the back and I saw this and I was just like, cool, I'm spending money today. Which, this is like maybe between the top two books that I want to read and you'll see why. Even this is my like one of my most anticipated books. The other book that I have is actually described as the most anticipated book of the decade. And if you guys have your Instagram, you'll already know what this is. It is Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. For those of you who know me, you know that I love Marcus Zusak. For those of you that really know me, you know that I almost cried upon seeing this. I definitely screamed. I felt my heart actually speed up in my chest. And you also know this is probably the greatest day of my life. I just, I just don't know which one to pick first. Oh, 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 the problems of a bookworm. Anyway, that is pretty much all that I have got for this video. I shall hopefully be back again with another one soon. If you guys have any videos you want to see, please let me know because my brain is apparently this big right now and can't think of anything at all. But I'm sure I can come up with something. And until then, you guys better have a lovely bookish day and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. So let's get started. I have 87 books that I have recently got. I don't want to make this video way too long for you guys, so I'm going to kind of be quick going 